Hello there and welcome to this week's news post for Fall of the Republic. So while we have the Vision of the Future preview series of news posts going on for Imperial Civil War, as well as an upcoming overview post for 2.3, and an ongoing beta for Star Wars Ascendancy for Sins of the Solar Empire, it's been quite some time since we've done a proper news post for Fall of the Republic. Usually the news posts for Fall of the Republic have assumed a certain level of familiarity with what the latest versions of Imperial Civil War have to offer, which is our post Endor mod for Empire at War. But in today's post we're going to be talking about what the first version of Fall of the Republic will include for those without that same level of familiarity. We'll also go over what's been done for the first version, what's still left to be done, what we're less concerned about getting done. So first off, what is Fall of the Republic? At its core, Fall of the Republic is a Clone Wars era mod for Star Wars Empire at War. The primary goal of the mod is to cover the war between the Confederacy of Independent Systems and the Galactic Republic between roughly the Battle of Geonosis in 22 BBY to the Declaration of the New Order in 19 BBY. Like with our post Endor mod, while the main conflict of the era provides a focal point, we also aim to represent the galaxy as a whole, how it was over this period, which can take the form of various galactic conquest scenarios, which may not exclusively be Republic vs. CIS, or may not include the Clone Wars at all in some cases. We would also hope to expand the timeline in the future for either specific conquests to cover, er cover earlier periods, or scripted one-off events or battles which cover earlier conflicts. This will generally not be included until later releases though. The mod will also have a focus on narrative story elements, much like Imperial Civil War. In place of the traditional tech tree where you start with just corvettes and research up to larger ships, the mod implements an error system wherein the ships, vehicles, soldiers, and research available to each faction will be based on what was used during each year of the war, for a total of three eras, which would later be expanded to five to cover earlier periods if we go that direction. So at the start of the war you'll be using Phase 1 Clone Trooper armor for example, but upon reaching the time period for Era 2, further research options will be open for the player to introduce Phase 2 clones if they would choose to, and other similar research options for that tech that was introduced later in the war, like the Victory and Bulwark classes. Some of these choices will be influenced or driven by narrative choices available to the player, such as certain options which open up for the Republic player to pursue early versions of Imperial tech, like the Imperator and Secutor, through cooperation with Quad Drive Yards if they follow canonical progression of Palpatine towards Order 66, or perhaps they'd instead have the option to support a separate path away from the Empire towards Order 65 in the removal of Palpatine. Our goal with the first version, which will be called 0.5, is to introduce a lot of the core mechanics of the mod as they currently exist in Imperial Civil War 2.2 or 2.3. So the general galactic conquest structure, economic system with uh, updates that are coming to both mods, including infrastructure preparing for broader galactic and economic changes in Imperial Civil War 2.4 and Fall of the Republic 1.0 that we'll cover when we, uh, when we move on to developing them more fully, uh, and the main rosters of the factions with the most iconic units. These were announced earlier in the faction profile news post, but they are essentially just guidelines. Like we've done with Imperial Civil War, we intend to continue supporting the mod beyond the first release, which will again just act as a framework in adding and remaking content as we go to ensure we cover as much as we reasonably can. So while clones and droids may be what you mainly use in the first versions, in later versions one of the goals is to add more local forces which played a massive role in the war. Uh, as long as we have the resources to do so, the which which will hopefully help the mod feel more like a real galactic war and give some extra flavor to different planets. So now for what is done and what isn't. So I've been doing live development preview playthroughs on Cory Loses, this YouTube channel for Imperial Civil War 2.2 and now 2.3 for about two and a half years, which can give some idea of where development stands for mechanics, this has not yet started for Fall of the Republic, so people are probably a bit less clear on where that stands. I did do two one-off videos in December for the factions to show where they stood content-wise, but since even then, there's been a massive amount of progress made. I'll be starting Fall of the Republic preview playthroughs in March, barring any unforeseen circumstances, so within the next few weeks we should be starting uh, at least one of the playthroughs there. Uh, so if you would like to see that, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and that should be around the middle of the month that that starts. But for the moment we're just going to talk about which work remains. For each faction, while we have an overall planned unit list for their heroes, ships, and ground units, there are some we absolutely need to be done for the first release, and some which we'd like to be done but which, if the other core mechanics are done, we're happy to hold off on those units until the 1.0 update. The biggest things to be done still are the art assets for heroes. Each side has about 7 heroes which still need some amount of work done to get them on, done on the art side. On the positive side for most of the Republic heroes, Jedi tend to have similar outfits, uh, so the robes I was working on this week for Obi-Wan and Anakin, models from for both of them were finished uh, relatively recently, 
Uh, those can generally all be used with other Jedi heroes with appropriate changes to heads and hands and other smaller assets like this. This leaves art for Masters Fisto, Shock T, Windu, and Ayla Secura to be done. For CIS, after finishing Dooku's model recently, we mainly need to do art for Dirge, Ventress, Kalani, Severance Tan, Jengle, Fett, and Sora Bulk. Of these, we'd probably be happy to hold off on uh, Ayla Secura, Sora Bulk, Jengle, Fett, and Kalani for 1.0 if we're able to finish everything else from the mod, and it's just those things left, so we'd be happy to start the beta at that point. For units, we're relatively close to being done with all four categories being ground in space for each faction. So while the CIS on ground are currently lacking the BX Commando, Crab Droid, GAT, HAG, MTT, and MAF, we're currently happy to hold off on the GAT, MAF, and HAG for 1.0. The Crab Droid model is done, the skin needs to be done soon, and the animations will then be done. Uh, and the other ones we're probably going to be able to do next. Uh, but for space, the CS is probably the farthest thing from completion. They still need the Subjugator, which is the Malevolence's class name, the Geonosian Cruiser, Cruiser rather, the Captor class, the Diamond class, the Lupus, and the C9979, Trade Federation Bomber, Belbalub, Rogue, and Genevex. So uh, about uh, four fighters, uh, one or two transports, and some of the ships on the smaller side, plus the Malevolence, which is currently being worked on by Sleppard. It's unlikely that any of those units will be left unfinished for the initial release, maybe one or two of the fighters, considering the CIS's overall smaller pool of units, but a lot of those designs that are still left are relatively simple. So the ideal situation would be that we get uh, three or four of them done this month, because it's going to be a relatively busy month for me, uh, because I am launching, launching the lore channel as well as working on some ICW 2.3 stuff. Uh, but other than that, we are mostly on track to get those done fairly quickly. Now finally we have the Republic's remaining units which are uh, relatively few uh, for both land and space. Um, there are currently six things that need to be finished for them being the AV-7, ARC Troopers, ATRT, the Light Assault Cruiser, the Charger, and the Y-Wing. Uh, the model for the Y-Wing is already done. We had a skin done uh, but Sly Pair disappeared before he was able to give that to us and uh, there is a lot of art done for the ARC Troopers as well, so we should be able to just uh, wrap that up relatively quickly. Uh, but most of those would all need to be done before we'd be comfortable releasing. So everything I just listed, we are going to be finishing. Uh, we have already decided that certain assets for the Republic, specifically the Mandator, the H-60, the NTB, and the PTB, so the Mandator uh, will we'll need to design from the ground up, and then three of their more obscure fighter or bomber types. Those will be held off for 1.0, but they will be added in 1.0 for sure. Well, none of the actual Galactic Conquest scenarios in the mod is shipping with have been completed as a whole yet. The main testbed GC that is being used to set up the and test all the mechanics, and which is where some of the uh, footage that you're seeing is coming from. Uh, when it's time to move on to finishing them, that one will be converted with a few changes to one of the larger scenarios at 100 planets, covering all three eras of the war. Uh, there will be one larger and one smaller version of the map at launch. Uh, so that'll be like the Fall of the Republic version of our Art of the War, Art of War rather, map in Imperial Civil War. Uh, so that's the era progressive full galaxy map idea. And then we'll hopefully have one or two smaller campaign maps. So whether those are era specific or region specific, uh, we haven't decided on any of the details for that yet. Those will be able to wrap up relatively quickly, and that may even wait until during beta when we have a better idea of where the biggest gaps are and what is in the most demand from people. Uh, so the maps that it's shipping with will probably be 100 planets, 130 planets, and 70 planets. So there will be the larger, medium, and smaller version of the map. And then after that, uh, with 1.0 or with 1.1, we'd probably also go down to a 50 planet version and a 150 planet version. Similar to how we're trying to have different scales of the similar types of maps with Imperial Civil War. So one of the other large tasks that we have to do is still updating the UI. So those are things like the HUD, uh, the build bar, loading screens, etc. From their current Imperial Civil War assets, the more appropriate to the era of factions present. Or to something more appropriate to the era and factions present. Uh, hopefully... Some amount of this will be done by the time the preview playthroughs go up, but if not, you'll likely see some of that change as we go through the preview playthroughs. Uh, currently, the mods are being built together out of the same folder, uh, which saves us a lot of time 
in not having to repeat certain tasks because uh, it can use all the same scripting background, all the same XML background, and then we just have uh, some stuff we switch to go from ICW to Fall of the Republic and vice versa. Uh, and I would like to keep that that way as long as possible. If we can figure out good ways to swap between some of the art assets, that's likely what we're going to do. And that makes it all a lot more efficient for us to uh, make these mods. And in the future, if we were to expand into other eras, it would make it very efficient for us to make the same kinds of changes that we're doing now and go from there. Uh, but hopefully this has given you a better idea of what Fall of the Republic looks like right now, both through the actual content of the news post as well as what you guys have been looking like, looking at, rather, and uh, some idea of what it'll look like when it comes out. Our policy is never to give a release date until the mod is basically done and starting the beta process, so we won't comment on that or when it's starting, just that it shouldn't be too far off now before you guys will have uh, some build of Fall of the Republic available to play. Uh, and we're really looking forward to that. We've been working hard on it. Uh, it's something I've been looking forward to personally for a while. So hope you guys enjoy the mod when it does come out. We're going to have another news post next Friday about Imperial Civil War 2.3 with a similar overview kind of post for that. And I would like to have a news post every week. So... Uh, hopefully you'll be able to look forward to that. We're all, I'm also going to be starting uh, a separate lore channel. Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, that is called Corey's Datapad. There'll be more information coming up on that soon. Anyways, thank you for watching everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye.